Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Cat Dog Pig Ducks Feed the Beast. Today we are continuing playing Horizons 1.6.4, and uh, to get started, um, between episodes I've done a little automating on my uh, Tinker's Construct smeltery. A couple things I added is, uh, after watching a few videos myself, I realized that these, uh, what do you call these? These are casting basins and this is a casting table these count as these count as inventories so uh if you put a hopper underneath them when they have something in them they will pull the hoppers will pull them out and then put them in this chest so as you can see i've created a lot of ores and i've learned a little bit about this smelting table you got to be very careful what you put in here because if you put a but just like a bunch of different ores in here I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this iron in here get it started smelting um, but if you throw a bunch of just kind of random ores in there uh, if you have a recipe that is valid it will make that metal so you just got to be careful and make sure you don't want to accidentally create two tons of some sort of weird metal you've never heard of before and since the uh, what do you call it? All these are Tinker's Constructs, but there's there's a mod in this mod pack called Metallurgy or Metallurgy or something like that. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, here it is. Metallurgy 3. And I've accidentally made a couple of these. I accidentally made some Damascus steel blocks. I have no idea what they do. I'm sure they're great. But I've made a couple of these uh, Angamalian blocks as well. I think you make these by combining gold and iron. So I wasted a bunch of gold creating them, but they are very pretty. Let's take a look at them. Look at them. They've got these little lines through them and they're golden. Not bad. So I'm using them as chandeliers at the moment. I'm sure there's better uses for them, but nuts to that. Anyway, uh, since I've got my smeltery going, I've made a ton of weapons out of the pink metal, which I think is aluminite. Let's take a look. Here it is. Here's a block of it. A block of aluminite. And I think that takes five... Yeah, I think it takes five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. And look at look at these blocks. When you put these blocks down, it has a little heart on them. Adorable! Oh. Anyway, so that's something. But uh, my favorite material to make in the smeltery, for tools anyway, is steel. For steel, you need one part iron and one part magnesium. And magnesium ore looks pink. I don't have any of it because they turned it all into steel. But uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff and it's very durable. It's even better than aluminite or however you say it. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I wanted to show you this real quick. So this is a redstone clock from Extra Utilities. It's very cheap to make. I think it's just a redstone torch, redstone, and stone. If you put that above one, any one of these uh, little spouts, it will pulse a uh, redstone, redstone signal to the spout and just constantly hit it up. So I've got a switch on here turning it off, but let's turn it on. So look, it's draining the iron out of here. And with the hopper underneath the table, as soon as that solidifies, it's going to pour the next one. So this is draining the contents of the smeltery out. So it's a little bit of automation. And, uh, you know, instead of setting up a Tinker's Construct pulverizer and macerate, or no, it's a pulverizer and a furnace, I'm just going to use the smeltery to double my ores because they operate the same way. Every ore gives you two ingots, so it's still pretty good. So this is a little, it's a little bit more of a process, but I think it's much more interesting. So what we want to do at the moment, uh, we want to make a very large ax. So we want the broad ax blade. Let's get some of this stuff out of the bottom of the inventory. What else would this need? I think it'll need a large plate. We'll need the large tool binding and the large da, 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 tool. So let's get this started. So we'll put that there. Come over here and select the liquid metal we want to pour out. If you just click on it, it'll go to the bottom, and then that's what will be available to drain out of any of these uh, pours. So we'll start that. Do it manually. 
I think this head takes eight steel ingots to make, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. We're going to do a little test today, something I haven't tried yet. Uh, okay, so that's made. Let's make the large steel plate, which also takes eight ingots. Oh man, I hope I have enough steel to do this. I should, I should. So, yep, get that going. Looks like it's done. Oh, I put it back down. One tough binding. Let's see. Yeah, here they are. One steel broad axe head, one steel large plate, and here's the binding. Good, that got done relatively, uh, relatively quick. Come on. Okay, so click that out. Um, there we go. And the last piece, the rod. Oh wait, did it go? Is it done already? What did it do? All right, let's try that again. I think I just may have double clicked it or something. There it is. Wonderful. So you can experiment with different combinations of things, but I have a tendency to just try to make them all out of one material to keep it simple. Like if I had made this tough tool, this tough binding out of paper, it would give it one more modifier. But it's an ax. How many modifiers can you put on the damn thing? I mean, seriously, I, I, I don't see the point in over modifying an ax because chances are you're just going to die with it and it's going to despawn. But here we go. One lumber ax. So let's call this something. Let's literally call it something. Something. Oh man, look at that. That is something. I went ahead and made me a hammer as well and put a bunch of stuff on to, to it. Um, one of the things I'm very pleased about in this mod pack is how you can make mossy cobblestone. So look, I've got tons of cobblestone. We'll just take a stack or two. You go over to this table. You put a bucket of water in the center. Surround that with cobblestone. And boom, eight mossy cobblestone. So now that you have a way to make all this cobblestone, you now have a way to uh, make it so your tools auto repair themselves. So let's take this mossy cobblestone, put it in a brick of nine, nine bricks of it, and that makes a ball of moss, which is now a modifier for your axe. So let's go over to the axe. No, no, we just go to this. So we put our modifier here, we put our new something axe there, and we've got a something axe that repairs itself. So let's take a look-see. So the natural abilities of this axe is it has an area of effect. It fells trees, whole trees, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so if you can go through the, the biomes of Pliny and find yourself a really tall tree, you can fell the whole thing without having to build a dirt platform up, all that crazy crap. It also does an area of three by three by three. So that's pretty impressive too. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to try in this episode, and it's nighttime now, so it's a little dangerous to do, let's go to sleep, is you remember that giant tree in episode two? I'm gonna try and fell that whole thing. So we might need to get some things ready to do that. I've got a lot of wood already, but uh, why not get some more, huh? We could be uh, charcoal millionaires. So let's make some trunks, just in case we'd, we might need some room to put this stuff in. Uh, what else can we make? Oh, we need a boat. Yeah, we're going to need a boat to get there. Yep, let's put these, uh, what do you call these? These casts back as well. I don't need to be carrying these around. You might hear some Christmas music playing in the background. It's Christmas time. I won't lie to you. I just snuck down here into the basement to record an episode. So, this is my Christmas episode, everybody. Merry Christmas! Hey! Oh, all, right, all right, let's continue on. I made a little pier down here. Just so I could launch a boat. Da 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 the boats steer a little bit differently, so I'm probably going to break this boat on the way there. Oh man, I just ran through that one. But you see this giant tree? Oh man, if this works, I'm going to have so much wood. That's what she said. Anyway, sorry for that terrible joke, everyone. I can't get out of this boat. This is 
the algae is in my boat. You see this? All right, bug report. I've got an algae boat. I can't even left click, right click. I'm gonna have to crash the boat to get out of it. Yeah. Maybe if I get on the dirt here. I am stuck in this boat. I'm hitting every button. All right, let's try the uh, let's try the ham. No, let's try the excavator. I am absolutely stuck in this boat. What is this garbage? I can't believe I'm stuck in this stupid boat. All right, I'm going to log out and log back in. If you guys will just bear with me, because I'm stuck in a stupid boat. All right, excuse me, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back now. Sorry about that, but I was literally stuck in a boat. <laughs> so I, to get out of it, I even re-logged back in, and I was still stuck in the boat. Um, what I had to do was crash into sh to the shore at top speeds in order to break my boat. So, fun with boats! Huzzah! Anyway, what we came here to do is chop down a tree. And that's what we are going to do. Here's the tree. It is a mighty tree. It even has dirt growing into it. So let's have at it. We'll start here at the bottom. And, oh my god, my game totally froze. Oh, it's raining! Oh, it's a Christmas miracle! My dog is even so excited she started barking. How wonderful. So, <laughs> wow. There is another one of these trees right over there that I could do the exact same thing to, but it kind of seems like a miracle of nature, these giant trees. So I'm just going to let them go. I'm just going to collect the wood in these trunks. I think I've caused a super lag on my, ser on my server because uh, I'm getting like zero frames per second. And my dog will not shut up. It has angered her. She's angry at this frame rate. As I am as well. So let me see if I can pick up some of these instances and slow down this frame lag. So bear with me, folks. I will figure this out and collect more wood than I could possibly use ever. This will make some mighty charcoal, I think. Look at that. Look at that. This is wood crazy. I think it's still falling. I think every dog in my neighborhood just suddenly went insane. So not only does this act, this axe fell a whole tree, it makes every dog in the neighborhood go insane. So give it a try yourself and let me know if uh, your dogs go insane when you use this axe. And uh... I'm probably going to end the episode right here and just collect all this wood. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye!